Welcome to my channel where we talk all things movie and movie history related. My name is Nick Leland, and today we're going to talk about silent film actress Mary Philbin, a woman who appeared in just over 30 movies throughout her career. She is arguably best remembered for her performance as Christine in Universal's adaptation of The Phantom of the Opera. Born on July 16th, 1902 in Chicago, Illinois, her parents would regularly take her to the Chicago Opera House as a child to see plays and concerts. Because of this, she would pick up instruments like the piano from an early age and would also develop the dream of becoming an actress. One thing to note is that she was childhood friends of Carla Lemley, who was the niece of Carl Lemley, who, for those who don't know, was the founder of Universal Studios. This becomes important to keep in mind as in 1918, she won a beauty pageant that was sponsored by the company and would be signed on by them shortly thereafter. It is three years later, she made her action debut in the movie The Blazing Trail, where she plays a teacher who falls in love with a doctor looking for a cure for blood poisoning. Now between the years of 1921 and 1930, Philbin appeared in 34 movies total, six being shorts and 28th being full length, and eighth out of the 28 full length movies that she was in currently being considered lost. But as I hinted at the beginning of the video, and as the title of this video suggests, Mary Philbin is best remembered for her performances in two films, the first being Universal's 1925 adaptation of The Phantom of the Opera, where she starred alongside the Man of a Thousand Faces, Lon Chaney. And if you'd like to see my video talking about him, I have it linked down in the description for you to check out. And the second is Paul Lenny's 1928 movie, The Man Who Laughs, where she falls in love with a man who is disfigured with a permanent smile. The last movie Philbin would appear in was 1930's After the Fog, because shortly after this, she would retire from acting for the rest of her life. And one of the few appearances she made post-retirement was in 1986, when Andrew Lloyd Webber's musical, The Phantom of the Opera, opened in Los Angeles. Aside from small appearances like that, Mary Fulman would spend the rest of her days in retirement before dying on May 7th, 1993, at the age of 90. Before I go, I want to thank you guys for watching the video, and if you enjoyed it, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for future movie reviews and movie history content. And definitely be sure to let me know in the comments what silent film actors or actresses you like to hear me talk about. And until next time, my name is Nick Leland. Thank you for watching the video and have a great day.